Hi, this is Mr. Ronald Paul with an update on my Mark 7 U boat, the Rebel Kit, and uh, it's the 7C. Um, I've done quite a lot of weathering and I'm still working on it. I haven't finished weathering yet, and eventually I will just finish the details on the 88 gun um, to finish the work, paintwork around the breech work of the gun, and then that, that bit will be finished. But the weathering is, uh, is an ongoing process, and I'm quite quite pleased with how she's turned out um, it's like anything else so she's a long old ship but just over three feet long so it's it takes a while to get to work around it I have been purely using oils for most of this weathering uh, I, I did a bit of weathering as you know with the life colors but now I've gone into the oils because you can, uh, you can you can play with them quite a bit and it's quite nice so anyway so basically what I've done is you can see I've done a lot of bit of work on the old um, uh, structure here now the gray looks much better in real life than what it does on the on the screen uh, but uh, basically Basically, all I've done is done some really f sort of. Uh, it's, this ship's been out of sea for quite a few um, uh, months and months, and, and basically, when it's come back, it's been. This is the, the, the second version of the one I'm doing, the late version, and it's the same submarine. It's just come in and the remarine painted and gone back out. But of course, rust will come through eventually again through the new layer of paint. So that's what I'm actually trying to do. Tap them, tap to a pity pit here, and. Even the even the actual markings on the front have got a bit of a blemish on them as well, so just to add a little bit of it, and it's all toned down with the oils. Um, I've done a bit, a switcher said about putting some wear behind the footsteps, and I think someone else mentioned it in a video. I saw it before as well, and and he was was right because the boots actually rub against the hole. I've actually done that behind there, and what I did is I've done a few chips on it, and then uh, added a bit of rust there, and and just looked too two in your face so what I did is I went in with some white oil uh, it's a 502 oil but this is not the white but this is 502 oil and basically I used the white and this um, blemished it in a little bit and I've used white quite a bit on this submarine uh, as you'll see a bit later on now once I've done that then I just went in and smudged it and left it there and it toned it down but it's still there that's the thing that I've tried to get to so as you can see I've done quite a nice bit of work on there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, switch off quickly and move the camera to the bow area uh, just so you can see that. So come, I'll back in a minute. Well I'm back now so basically this is what I've done up the front and, uh, and also switch out a bit of input on the anchor so I dabbed a bit of grey back on the anchor to make it look as if it wasn't quite so rusty or the rust was coming through the re repaint of it and that's what I've done there so it tones it down a little bit there. Also the rust you can see so the, ru the rust I got to, to do to do all these elements here was actually the um, oil brusher from MIG basically and it's the Yorch one and there she is so if you see that there it is so that's what I used to all these places and it went on it looked really bright and then of course with general brushing slowly but it just tones it down and you lose it in places but it's just there the rust is the fresh rust coming through and it would be really dark rust inside obviously but it's just coming through and a little pl few places where the darker rust is coming through you can see and the darker rust elements are here not much too overdone but uh, in various areas and that was the actual dark rust colour which is from this and basically the two colours mix a little bit so it tones it down again once they dry back they actually dry back quite nicely so I'm quite pleased with that so far as well um, so I've done them what else have I done if I just did I think that's quite a good view and I've actually done the white now if I if, where's the white here we go I'll show you it's 502 white this is from the the set um, ship set of Basically, this is 502, but this is the faded white. There you go, faded white. And really good stuff, I like it. Uh, you can use general oils, but I went for this, um, as the wrist switch would say, I like my sets. <laughs> and uh, so I've just basically done some, uh, started off with white, bringing white slightly down the hole to give it the grey slightly different tonal variances, which it has done, and then carried on bringing it down, along with other colours slightly coming down. Um, and disappearing and fading out but I've got to go further down and around underneath the hole because as you can see well you can't see it but down below about just below here where I'm marking I didn't get down there with the brush and I've got plenty of time I've got to do the same at the back but I was working my way along so there you go so I'm just, now I'm going to just, just come off again and come back here in a couple of seconds see you in a minute well I'm back again and here we are and um, so what I've done here is a gun I've actually done this uh, wash, uh, a rust wash of this and I actually in a little jar and basically so I could actually rinse it and it actually leaves that sort of rustic 
look, but not rust look, if you, if you know what I mean. So I'm quite happy with that, just going to turn this on, I can see, that's it. So I'm quite happy with the guns, but I still need to do a bit of detail painting on the actual weapon here to give it a bit of wear. And uh, so that's quite nice, I'm quite happy with that. The um, all round here, I did that, I hand painted the actual different colour on the top there because it was easier. I was going to get a spray mask out and I thought, no, I think I could do that. So I went around with a very fine brush. And what I mean by a really fine brush is, uh, excuse me, oh, it's gone. Oh, there it is now. And it's, uh, oh, what was it? It's a number 10, they say, but it's a very fine brush. And I think you'll see what I mean. So if I go like this, that's how fine the brush is. So there you go. So it's a fine brush. And what I did is I actually, um, went along round to get the actual basic line to where I wanted it to join including over on the front of the Conan Tower and then I backfilled it with a slightly bigger brush and that was life colour obviously the, all the colour paints colours are actually life colours and, and it really did, came out quite nice now I needed to get into the gun and actually do the rope in a rope colour coming all the way through to the gun placement on the other side also do the bridge I should be using some sort of um, like a burnt iron colour metal colour to actually get in there we might be steel colour to inside there and then I'll tone it again down again with a few a bit of coat of oil just to stop it uh, looking too much but but I'm quite happy how she looks now I put a bit of rust uh, laid a bit of me white layer wash inside there just so it gives it that as if the rust is because all they blow this wood that would be getting rust on the decks below and that would wash through sometimes and come through so and this will be in metal as well with rust so that's what I've done I mean it, it, it is a model so therefore you're shrinking uh, ship down to to the scale it is. So I, I think I've gone far enough with the rust in, in most places that I don't want to go any further. It just gives it that hint of uh, heavy use. So and and you can see on there basically. If I, I don't know if I can get any closer than that, so if I might have to. There we go. There you go, and I've done the actual boot line, right? so I've done the weather line around the, the actual tower. I did it by one of those uh, micro brush sticks, which I'll just show you quickly. Uh, the smallest one, or one of those. And that done a really nice job. I didn't do it perfect, because I've looked on photographs of the, of the submarines, and I can't see a perfect line there. So it just done, it gives it that demarcation between the deck and the coning tower, which is quite nice. I haven't done the lights yet. I've still got to uh, figure out a way to do that with a bit of a clear rod and then put it in there, get the light, then can we get a, a colour of red and starboard for the port side and start red green for starboard. And then do the clear light at the on the front, on the rear, sorry, and the one that right at the back. And then I've just noticed I haven't weathered one part, so I've, and that's went right at the back between the two rails where the, the masts come down. But anyway, so anyway, in this area, I think you can see quite nice where the where the actual uh, oils have come down and smudged in, and they, they looks that looks pretty crooked there. But actually, when you look at it, it does go kind of slightly crooked, but it's actually it just makes it gives it look different. But uh, all the all the hand rails now have received that rustish wash and taken a lot of it off just to just leave the grey, but just give it that tonal variance that's what it's all about and I think you can see that's it good so I'm going to switch off now and I'm going to come I'm just going to bring a puller back slightly and then I'm going to switch off now and I'll see you in a couple of minutes there we go there we go let's take a look at that pencil I'll be using well this is the, uh, the, the the stern of the old submarine and basically you can see I haven't done any too much weathering on these the propeller shafts and that and I haven't got any screws in place uh, so they will be going on there but I have weathered down the side and I think you can see the tonal difference and it's just a slight down if I don't know if I can get the light down slightly less let's so say a bit more yeah I think that's, that goes off that's the lowest I can get my light setting on that one there you go so you can see what else happened here you've got rust coming down here here and I'll go, uh, and if I could actually I don't know if I can change change the camera angle and I'm going to switch off briefly. No, I'll, I'll stay with it. Anyway, so I've sort of got a bit more work to do down the, the stern there on both areas, but I'm going to still carry on doing the, the actual white oils down underneath to give it that uh, tonal differences all the way along the upper hole, both sides, which it is. But this, 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 well, what you can see here is not duplicate, but it is similar on the other side to the effects. So I, was, I was, didn't see the point in telling it. And I think you might just see a funny bright grey thing here. That's the, 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 the stern. Um, um, uh, light, a stern lamp running light, and basically it's still a grey paint, and it should have a slight twinge to it. The rest of the hole's got, and I'll be working on that later on. So I'm just going to switch off briefly and come to the top view over the bit. 
Well, that's just a quick close-up of what I've said about that. that it hasn't been weathered at all. Uh, there is a bit more work to be done in this area. It's not showing up very well, but in that, that there, you've got faint rust in the background of the grey. And uh, uh, without turn, I don't know if I can turn it off this off. And then t if I turn it in a show, it shows to a little bit, but not to as much as I want to. So there we go. We put that back on and put that back on, and hopefully the light come on. So. But um, it, that's a go, so I'm going to go back to the tower and show you a bit more close up of inside the tower now, and then then I'll call this the, the update done. There will be no, the next update should be of it completely painted. But so there you go. So I'll be back in a second. This is a quick handheld video of showing you the Conan Tower, and basically what I've done there with the washing and the rust. So I don't know if you can see that, and a few chips in various places where the wear. And all the way around. Gotta come for it lower. Excuse me. I'm just doing this very quickly. There you go, around the side. And the gun. Well, I'm gonna stop her now and come out of it. There you go, because I can't hold it much steadier than this. Well, that's the end of this video. Anyway, so I hope. I'm so sorry about the unsteadiness on the handheld. Uh, um, I will have to eventually put a screen up behind this model so you can't see all the tools in the background because I think the camera sometimes gets lose loses it a bit in the back. But I think you get a good idea. The actual greys, if I took photographs, it would be slightly different. So but when I get to the very end of the build, I will take some extra photographs. But I've still got some more work to do with the weathering, but not so much heavy enough on the top half. It's mainly underneath the hole. And I might run a few more rust streaks down in these little areas, but not much because I, t I didn't want to overdo it. Um, I think it looks about right to me in my as I look at it. So there you go. So... Um, but, oh, by the way, see, the, see, the periscope has been changed to like a, a chrome colour because uh, another thing which you mentioned to me, and I, it must be, I knew it, but I just didn't do it. I used the iron colour last time. It wasn't right, so I've scrapped, uh, I re-sanded re re all the paint off and then went in with a nice chrome colour. And then I put some uh, uh, oily colour over that uh, clear colour over it to actually give it a little a bit of an oily look. And so that's it. I've still got to do the details at the top, paint the details on the top of that to a periscope, but uh, that's easy enough because it, do, it does slip out and I can just work with it and then glue it back in. So anyway, so there's as far as I've got and um, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Happy modelling. Bye.